and it can't slide off again. Or something like that. Maybe this is made of metal, I don't know. I'm not quite sure yet what kind of materials this is made from. Now, the top here is it's, it's kind of tricky. It's not that it's too hard to do, I just uh, don't, I'm not sure what I want with it. Do I want it to be a spike? You know, that's something that some might like. No, I don't want it to be a spike. I want it to be uh, just just flat, basically. Just make it flat. There's nothing wrong with flat surfaces, right? We're not surface racists, are we? <laughs> Connect and two, pinch them apart like so. Now we're going to do the turbo smoothing part for this section. Just uh, oh, adding edge loops. Yeah, do we want edge loop here? Sure. Sure, we want edge loop here. Add one there and uh, add like two here as well. Just to keep the supporting shape in place. And uh, you see these sharp cuts? I, I want them for this as well. So I'm going to have to uh, select this, ring it, connect it. Once, no pinch, just slide it right up to about 90, and uh, do the same for the other side. That's great, I like that. And uh, let's work our way back here. Kind of want this to be sort of extruded inwards, so if we can hit the extrude and uh, tighten it up. Push it in like that. I want to see what that looks like. Turbo smooth it before I oh, before I do anything else. Turbo smooth. Put up the iterations. Yeah, I like that. Keep sort of a nice cut edge, but I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure to be honest. I'm not quite sure. I'm, I'm I'm changing my mind. I'm changing my mind. Quick quick mind change. Went into expert mode there. No no no. Just uh, just gonna do it the good old way. Connect these and. Uh, yeah, if you, if you like what you see here, do subscribe. Do subscribe. This is sort of an intermediate. It's not advanced. It's not. It's why I'm not showing too many tools and not using uh, all that I could. Uh, so uh, if you if you want more advanced, I'll just say it in the comments. I'll go into more advanced details later in the next tutorial. And uh, perhaps talk about some some of the morphing tools and what you can do with animation and how you can unwrap this and texture it and put it into Modbox and so on. So yeah, let's just uh, finish this off. This is sort of the the part of 3D which is it's not designing. The design is already made, and uh, what you're doing here is just making what you all what you thought of you know you're sharpening these edges to get the shape that you were thinking of instead of a sort of a round flop like we were talking about earlier so let's see here push this out some of these might get too sharp and I might have to loosen them up I'm not going to do that in this tutorial though. This is that that will be refining and it would take a very long time. And uh, some people just say that box modeling is just completely out and it just takes too long and it it does take a lot of time to box model. 
but I like it. it. It gives me a sense of control that I'm used to, and I don't feel like I have that control with a with a sculpting uh, software. So let's uh, look at what it looks like Turbo Smoothed with our iterations up. Yeah, I'm I'm satisfied. It looks nice. I'm gonna show you just right now how to make a quick clay render, and. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna fix this head first. Yeah, I'm gonna show you how to make a quick clay render to just sort of display your model, and uh, then we we'll, then we'll wrap up. This has been sort of a sort of a long tutorial just because it's a lot to do when uh, when turbo smoothing an object like this. You know, I don't like that. Just gonna leave it at the middle. Cause else you get a, a cracked up blade right there. And we don't want that. I'm gonna fix these spacing out. Just, uh, just gonna make, uh, the part that I wanted to turbo smooth correct. That I wanted to fix correct first. There we go, and uh, oh, did you see that, huh? That's because of some irregular, irregularness. So what I'm doing here is that I'm just, uh, yeah, no, I'm doing this really fast right now. I'm just really sloppy. Please, if you're do doing this, don't do it this quickly, okay? You learn so much more if you just force yourself to make uh, an accurate model and just the model that you want to have. So I can't see my selection box for some reason. Sometimes it bugs out when I'm uh, recording. So I have to sort of just eyeball it, or do it in wireframe mode, which actually fixes this problem quite easily. Mm -hmm. Just uh, working on it, picking on it, making it look the way you want it, the way you like it, you know? Make it badass! Because that's what I want to see. I want to see you guys making badass stuff. and. If you make this axe, please, I want to see it in a video response. I can critique you. I can uh, give you sort of a advice on how to make things better. Now, that's better. I sort of like that. Don't have that here, though. So they don't, they don't coincide. This is more of an oval shape, and this is like a square. And I like that. I like that a lot. Yeah, maybe I'll maybe I'll do that here. Never mind. I don't have time for that now. Yeah, so we can put a giant gem in here, like I said earlier, to make it look nice. Now you see here's like a square, squarish area, and that's because these are tight. Uh, we can solve that a little bit by just, it won't be solved, it'll just be a little bit better. Just move this slightly out, just the slightest of hand, like so. And uh, now the blade is all cramped, and that's an easy fix, you just adjust it so it gets more of a curve. And. Uh, Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is this is the tedious part of of uh, 3D where you just picking on the vertices and this is the part that is better in 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 sculpting sculpting software like Mudbox or ZBrush or something like that. 
because there is no vertices you you uh, well, you won't be picking on vertices basically you'll be sculpting with a sculpting tool that is specifically designed for that this sort of small adjustments which uh, I will probably put this axe into uh, Mudbox and uh, show you how to show you how you de how do you detail it like really detail this is sort of just a temporary detail I'm not sure I'm going to show you how to bake it as well so you can put it into a game because you cannot use this model in game it's not possible it's just uh, way too many polygons for that <laughs> unless this is the only thing you have um yeah that's that's about it that's the tutorial guys for turbo smoothing and detailing your axe that you uh, may or may not have made and if you have not made it if you've just seen this if this is the first tutorial you see i recommend going to, i recommend going to my channel and uh, look up the basics of poly modeling tutorial so you can get going and uh, start modeling